Okay, here we are back again with more Dragon Age Inquisition, and we're back. We're still back. Not really back. We're, we're still in the Fallow Mire. Um, and having a good time. Because, yeah, it's fun. Die! Fallow Mire, super fun. And I just jumped in the water, so now I've got a bunch of... Sure, so we did that. Uh, we're still looking for the Avar outpost and our captured men. There's some more Avar. So I guess we must be getting close-ish. Right? That's gotta be what that means. I think. And of course, more corpses, because it wouldn't be the Falomire without undead. Okay. Oh, I've got a thing. We There's a thing. Around. Where's the thing? Hmm. What is this? There's a thing. Also, I've got another corpse over here somewhere. Why? I don't know, but I do. Oh, is it this fun, you guys? what I wanted. I mean, you know, it's just a day ending in Y, killing undead. Alright, so it's over here somewhere. Am I really gonna have to jump in the water and get it? Whatever it is. Oh god, probably. Alright, fine. is this? Ugh. <laughs> Cabin key. Okay. Unlock the cabin door. I assume this one is what they mean? Why? Why would I want to do that? I guess I just did, so... Oh no, somebody- Oh, why did you do that? And now the bogfisher. Alright, fine. Solve that problem. Dragon Thorn, nice. All right, what's this? Waterlogged diary. A diary found in the Fallow Mire. One water-soaked entry, dated ten days ago, is still legible. Wow, this really didn't happen that long ago, did it? The damned roof leaks, and I've been eating boiled roots for a week. I'm squatting in a bog no one so much as spit in for ten years. Still better than the alienage, thank Andraste. Day. That's the last time I visit the city for a while. I'm worried about the gardeners. They weren't sick when I left, and now they're all down with a fever, and their little boy is at death's door. 
Nigel Marsh, Marsh said we should lock them in their home, the sour codger. Maybe I can bring something to help. Is it death root that cures a fever or elf root? It can't be death root, can it? Ask Ira which is right. Yeah, uh, well, whatever happened here is very unfortunate, obviously. <sighs> now I've got to go back in the water. Lovely. Oh, for the love. I like how Dorian and I are basically in sync. Aw, we're not anymore really, but it was fun for a minute there. I'm not going to loot that thing. That is just ridiculous. I'm not looting it. Goodbye. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> For the love of all that is holy, let's keep going. Alright, I think we've got one final thing of these to grab. I think this is the last one. So, let's, uh, prepare ourselves. Because this is gonna suck. Probably. Here they come. Ouch. Um, oh, for Ouch. Whoops. We lost a party member. Um, where are you even, Dorian? Uh, Varric is right there. Okay, seriously? Finish off the terror. Oof. Good okay. work. We have a path free of corpses back to the shore. The fewer of these creatures, the better. Yeah, that was not actually good work. That sucked. I'm gonna blame it on me being tired. <laughs> I'm kind of tired as I record this tonight, so. It's kind of been a long week this week, but whatever. Whatever, we made it work. I'm gonna have to go back to camp 
and re re restock. Heal and restock my potions here and come back, but... Veilfire and the Fellowmire. These unreadable runes evoke, for a moment, a sudden and overpowering feeling of smug and vengeful triumph, as though a difficult problem has been solved. There is the image of a bottled elixir, then it fades. A cipher written in the last pages of Apostate Widris's journal corresponds to the Veilfire, writing found in the Fallomire. The deciphered messages are notes that, when taken together, form instructions on how to concoct a particularly dangerous poison. Well, that's... creepy. Um, okay. I'm gonna... what am I gonna do? Because this is a fast travel spot, yeah, because this is a fast travel spot, what I can do is just hop back to my camp, which will automatically heal me and refill my healing potions. Um, and I can go ahead and pop that in, and then I can immediately go right back to the last beacon I was at. And then we should Have be... Have you heard from any of your Kirkwell associates, Varric? You're asking me? So you don't read my letters? <laughs> You're no longer my prisoner. Much as you like to act like it. Yet I still get all the suspicion. I am not without sympathy. Especially given recent events. Why, Seeker, I would never accuse you of having sympathy. By the way, I tend <laughs> to refer to my associates as friends. Maybe you're not familiar with the concept. <sighs> She's trying, but Varric is really not giving her any room to maneuver here. <laughs> Which, you know, I... It's hard to blame him. It's hard to blame him. Alright. Um, I don't know why we're still in combat. Okay. Oh, you know what else I need to do, though? I need to put Blackwall in my party, because there is actually... Um... There is actually a, a Grey Warden thing for Blackwall right here. And since I have Deft Hands Fine Tools now, I should be able to get it. So I'm actually going to go back to camp again because I completely, completely went out of my head. And I'm going to change my party. Like, I'm literally just going to... Uh, I'm going to keep Dorian and Varric and I'm just going to stick Blackwall in. What do you know of my kind, Blackwall? Of you, sir. Oh, really? I don't have time. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when that happens. The requisition officer literally interrupted the banter and stopped the banter from happening. I'm really I'm mad about that. Uh yeah, let's do bulwark. That's just a maximum guard bonus and plus constitution. That's a good passive for him. I hate these requisition officers are so annoying. They interrupt my banter. I just wanted to listen to that party banter. Damn you. Okay, fine, whatever. And now it's gone, and that, that party banter is not going to trigger again in this game. Like, it's just not. <laughs> it sucks. I don't like the look of this staff, <sighs> particularly, but it's a decent staff, so... I'm going with it. For now, until I get something better. This is the highest tier staff uh, schematic I have right now, though. More undead! Don't waste time on them. Oh Head for the castle. You're right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disengage hardcore hardcore come with me friends come with me and then we're all gonna focus fire on this fella
Okay, guys, get over here. Um. All right. Yeah, everybody. Move here. And I think Blackwall, yeah, he's already heading in that direction, so that's fine. Get over here, guys. Seriously. No. Okay. Okay. Stop attacking. Alright. And then we... Oh, gosh. I hate. I hate. Okay, you just need to be on this guy, and you just, like, need to be on this guy. Or whatever. And... I wish it was easier to get your party members to stop attacking the things that you don't want them to attack. But it's it can be a little bit tricksy. Okay, so everybody attack this guy. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna disengage... Ooh, Summerstone. I want this. While we're here. And we're gonna head up. Um, you know, it might actually be a good idea to grab that supply cache. Because those undead kind of whacked me a few times. Kind of whacked my party a few times, so. Let's just top it off. Everybody top it off. Okay. And now you should be able to open this door because I have the perk. Yes. Good. Grey Warden Tome. A shred of blue. Uh, a song. The so that's history the song. of the Grey Wardens is fascinating. Um, yeah, it sure is. Ooh, nice. Upgrade for Bianca there. What else have we got? Superb belt of healing and ooh, a tier 2 uh, medium armor schematic. That could be helpful. And a mosaic piece. Definitely helpful. And a codex. Hargrave Keep. In 652 Storm, Ban Hargrave's knights helped drive Avar invaders from Ferelden's lowlands. When the king asked Hargrave to pursue the retreating tribes, she refused, demanding funds to build a keep. Caught between a fractured court, Hargrave's knights, and an impending famine, the king reluctantly granted her a large parcel of land to the south. After defeating the Avar regrouping in the Boglands, the Ban built her castle. As the famine grew worse, the wisdom behind her choice of location became clear. Hargrave Keep ate well, dining on a steady supply of fish and game while the farmlands starved. Hargrave's line died out fighting Orlesian invaders in the Blessed Age. Only the village at the base of the keep remains inhabited as the keep has fallen into disrepair. From notable fortresses, castles, towers, and other edifices of interest in Ferelden by Henry Lannan. Okay. So that must be the keep we're in now, I would presume. Right, so we have to open this gate. So we're just gonna yank that open. And that should do it for us. Excellent. We need to get further into the keep. Uh, what did I miss? Nothing, it was just the lever again, okay. And let's head in to the keep. Gotta defeat this Avar leader, I suppose. Oop, miss something. Uh, blue vitriol, yes, I want it. Basically, anything that's not iron, I want lots more of, so. Alright. 
And then I'm gonna grab all of this stuff while I'm here. I apologize for making you watch me grab this. you on him. Uh, why don't you have guard, dude? You need to shield bash this guy again. Here, take a re regen potion. Oh, okay, take a health potion. Take a regen. Uh, and then you need to shield bash the heck out of him. be on hand of course now I don't know what is going on with you but we're fine we're fine there we go indeed all right good Alright, so, now we have to find our guys, which I'm pretty sure they're in here. Indeed. Herald of Andraste. Yes, hi. I've dealt with the Avar. They're gone. Is everyone alright? Yes, your worship. The injured need some rest, but we can return on our own. Okay, cool. I can't believe the Herald came for us. Uh, I told you she'd come. Why wouldn't I have come? I'm always gonna come. Some nice upgrades there for some heavy armor. Alright, what have I got over here? My radar is pinging. A Grey Warden banner. Excellent. Alright, cool. Cool beans. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Blackwall greatly approves. I'm so glad. I just love it when they greatly approve stuff, you know? It's just it's just always nice. Approval is just nice. Alright, anything else of worth here? I don't think I don't see you, quest marker. I see you there. I'm just you remind me of someone, oh. pious bastard. Wore blinding white armor. Really? Told me my shots veered left. <laughs> I can see how that describes me perfectly. <laughs> it was just all that niceness. He was just so nice. Nice. Right. <laughs> I take it you didn't like this person. <sighs> Sebastian would have taken that as a compliment. <laughs> That's how you know they're different, Varric. That's how you know they're different. <laughs> Uh, hello, Skywatcher. Your God looks after you, Harold. Well, I suppose so. The brat. His father, chief of our holding, would duel me for the loss if he cared enough. Well, you could always work for me instead. The Inquisition has a purpose your chief likes. 
Is this why the Lady of the Skies led me here? To help heal the wounds in her skin? Aye, I'll join you. Let me make peace with my kin and I'll find where you set your flag. Sweet. If nothing else, I feel like you can do some real good with that giant hammer of yours. Well, I still have a few things that I can do. I can grab, yeah, I can find this uh, apostate, this crazy apostate Widris, at least. There's not a whole lot else to do in the Fallow Mire. The Fallow Mire is actually relatively limited and linear. There's a few more things that I can grab, a few landmarks to nab, that sort of thing. Um, do I have to... I guess I have to pull the lever again? I wouldn't have to, I can just use my map and quick travel again. Um, let's go to this... Actually, let's go to this camp really quick again. Just, once again, to sort of stock up on potions and stuff. And then I can go over here. And there's a rift over here, too, that I can close. I can upgrade my garden now. That would be nice. This area, yeah, there's a rift in here. Oh! Weird freeze there. Oh, good. I love despair demons. That's, I don't know why I just used that spell on that despair demon. That was ridiculous. Alright, let's grab this guy before he hurts me. Let's grab this guy. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh, I can like almost get two, maybe? I think I got two. And it's a revenant. We have a revenant. Ah, uh, nah, you're fine. You're good. See, we're all set. It's done. That Revenant was a pushover. I can't believe I'm so I'm actually playing- I, I believe- I like- like, I'm legit- like, you don't have to believe me, but I am playing on this- on hard difficulty. But, uh, okay. Let's grab this guy. The Den. The stench of wet fur is so strong, it almost masks the pungent odors of the mire. Almost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> notes on the stars. A collection of quickly jotted notes written in a blocky hand. Moon rose a few minutes later today than it did a week ago. I don't think it moves like stars do. Is it because it's closer? Wilton pointed out a, another star in the south quarter of the sky by one of the Tevinter constellations. Real faint. Boy has good eyes. Have him help me spot next week. Notes in book. I found not a chart of the air as I thought. It looks like a different. Looks like different sky. Stars different in the north than they are here. Indeed, they are. That's some uh, good observations you got there, buddy. Notes on the stars. The blocky writing of this note looks shaky. Wilton. Watching the sky when I heard screams from the old castle. Went to the gate and saw horned figures in the mist. Tell everyone who hasn't got the plague to go. Meet me on the south path. I have a cousin in King's Crossing we can stay with. Gin. Hmm. 
The Lady of the Skies. My father died with honor, so we gave him to the sky. My husband and I led the procession to the peak, singing. With knife and hammer, we scoured the flesh and split the bones. As we left, I saw the carrion crows descending to carry my father home in pieces. I knew the Lady of the Skies smiled. Our tribe has never failed to do the lady honor. The flights of her birds reveal the future to our shaman. We sacrifice wolves upon her altars. In return, she sends prize game in the hunt and victory in war. When a couple is bound together by the sacred knots, it is the lady's hymn we sing. We Avar never leave the ice and the stone. We never bowed to Kalanhad as the Alamari did, nor shall we be enslaved by the words of their new prophet. We are constant as the sky, and from us our lady shall have her due. From the Meditations of Anashe, Avar Tribes, Woman, and Falconer. Okay. Cool. Let's talk about your dark and troubled past. Excuse me? Well, you have one, of course. Someone dear to you, someone you failed to save. Or a grave error in judgment, causing too many deaths. <laughs> I've known a couple of people like that. <laughs> oh, maybe betrayal. That's always good. No. Well, you've got to give me something. No, I don't. This conversation is over. Hmm. Touchy. Right? Super touchy, Blackwall. Like, wow. I mean, you know, it makes total sense. Everybody's got a dark and troubled past. Like, how many... Like, seriously, the... the I'm pretty sure the ratio of Dragon Age characters who have a dark and troubled past compared to those who don't um, is pretty steep. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a pretty steep ratio. Oh no, that, I did not intend to do that. <sighs> Alright, here he is. Gotcha. Warden Battle Mage armor. I'm gonna give it to Solus just because he hates the Wardens and I think that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, and here's the thingy for Solus. He's not, he's not here to approve of it, but whatever. I don't care. Alright, so we did that. I think while I'm here, I'll probably go ahead and, like, try to finish up, uh, like, the landmarks and stuff as well, if I can recall where they all are. Um... There's only two more, and I, th I think... Because I don't... Yeah, I'm done with the quests. So, like, there's really not any other quests to do. But I do have a couple more landmarks that I can find here in the mire. Well, that's my last region, at least. Pretty sure.
Oh, he's fine. <laughs> I could do this all day. Fun. Race versus a bear. I mean, we could always see who wins, but uh, maybe we should just do this instead. Was a level 12 elite. All right, that's one of my that's one of my specialization things that I need. And, and now I have all three wisp essences that I need, so that's cool. And here's my landmark. All right, granite point. Some statues in the Falomire are of Avar origin. It amused Ban Hargrave to bring them back from her conquests in the hills and plant them outside her home, the way a gardener might transplant flowers. Uh, the Ban entertained visiting nobles by giving tours of the statues, regaling her guests with dark tales of Avar superstitions, which she mostly made up on the spot. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> What's this? Note found at Dyer campsite. Uncle, I was hiding supplies above the rocks when I heard voices from the windmill to the west. It was the horned men again. There's more of them now. I have to see if anyone is still left alive in the village. I'm sorry, but I swear I will be careful. Lewis. Um, I think he's talking about some stuff that you can find possibly on the top of these rocks. So, Sparkler, what do you think of the Inquisition so far? It's interesting, I'll give you that. An archdemon attacking me as a first. <laughs> Five royals says you'll see something weirder before the day ends. <laughs> I don't think I should take that bet. No, I don't think you should either, Dorian. I love that he calls him Sparkler. That's a good nickname. That's a good one, Varric. Alright. Cool. A bunch of... Ooh, and they're all attacking this bugfisher now. What in the heck? gracious and here's the final landmark this sturdy windmill appears old but well kept all right good
And uh, as I recall, uh, I don't think uh, you, you, there's no shards in the Fallowmire, so that's, I mean, yeah, we're pretty much done now with the Fallowmire. Like, that, that's, that's it. There's no more. We found everything that needs to be, that needed to be found or that was there to find. Um, there's only two camps. We got, we cleared out that fortress. We cleared out the Avar. We got the apostate. We have all the landmarks. So yeah, there's, um, that should do, that should do it actually. So I'm going to actually just, uh, head on back to Skyhold. Okay, so we made it back to Skyhold, and yeah, we're pretty much done with the Fallow Mire, so I think I'm going to leave it here, uh, and next time we'll wrap up a few things. I've got some more judgments to do, and uh, i got to do more war table stuff, and I, want, I can talk to some people again, so yeah, we'll do all that stuff next time. As always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!